Okay, so the first question we want to talk about is why do scientists need scientific notation? And we're going to answer that here. Scientists regularly deal with very large or very small numbers. And scientific notation lets them record and communicate these numbers easily. What does scientific notation look like? This is where some of our color is going to come in. <clears throat> I'm going to put an example in here. Instead of calling this A times 10 to the B, we're going to put a number in and say this is just use the number 3. And our exponents could be positive or negative, so we're going to put a negative 2 in there to show that we could have a negative. So the number that's in the place of the A, this number must be greater than or equal to 1. And it also must be less than 10. So the number that's in the A position has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. About the exponent, we're going to do a couple of notes. Up here, if we have a positive exponent, then the number is greater than 1. Anybody want to guess if it's a negative exponent? Less than 1. So, you, so 0 would be a negative exponent? Oh, if we have a negative exponent, then the number is less than 1. <coughs> oh, because there is no 0. Oh my gosh. And this is our only exception for allowing negative exponents. When it's written in scientific notation. Let's add that in. Only time we have a negative exponents. What would happen if the exponent was zero? Then the world would be over. No. Math wouldn't work. No. You're not thinking about what you already know about exponents. Oh, good. What's true if I have an exponent of zero? It's equal to one. It's equal to one. So would the answer be equal to one? 